is going on? My Reefing Fan March here, Fragbox TV, and today we are going to do a vlog episode. That yeah, sounds good. What part of New York are you from? The Bronx, New York. In the Bronx. Oh, cool, man. Uh, well, and you're, too, you're too far to visit the store, but maybe one day if you find yourself in Canada, you got to come by. Hold on, hold on. Say that again for the channel. No. Spell binders. Really Say that one more time. I know, but it's true. Don't frag spell binders. Don't frag them. You can buy them. You can grow them. Don't ask us how we frag them. Do not frag these things. Unless you want to see a very nice Zoa suddenly melt. Look at this. We're getting packaging inspo today. We're playing with it. We're going to redo all of our packaging for the new year. So one of our customers orders from a place called Peace River, Alberta but it should just be called frozen hell because it goes down. I can't even ship this guy corals, the poor dude. Look at this, negative, thir negative 40 degrees Celsius. You know what that is in Fahrenheit? Okay, oddly enough, negative 40 Celsius is negative 40 Fahrenheit. Anyways, it's freezing. And so in some rare instances, we actually can not safely ship you stuff. I've tried and even if I use the thickest styrofoam container that we offer and two of the strongest heat packs, there just comes a point where it's not a good idea to be sending coral. So unfortunately that order is not going to go out. And then we'll wait, you know, maybe for some warmer weather, you know, about negative 15, negative 20 ish is where we start, start to uh, draw the line and say, this is probably not a good idea. Or we wait for the warmer months and it's kind of part of doing business with saltwater corals. It's just something we have to manage, huh? In Canada. In Canada. Oh yeah, good point, in Canada. Thank you, Pina Calorie Tia. Enjoying her soup as we make our videos in Canada, because that's where we are, and it is a frozen hell here right now. You like soup? You like soup? Yeah, Diggs likes soup. Diggs yeah. eats everything, everything. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Canadians, the Canadians are crazy. Put this out. So our preferred method for testing salinity here in the store is always going to be a refractometer. So one of our customers tests with a hydrometer. I suspect that his salt water that he brought in today is not quite where he thinks it is. Uh, hydrometers, they do work. They're okay. They're fine. But if you really want accuracy, I'm going to say use the refractometer. Tia is our demonstration model today. Look how nice her hair looks. She got her hair done this morning. <laughs> it was really late for work. It's, it's okay. It's Beauty okay. comes first. Yeah. Let's see. What do you, what's it at? Dun, 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 dun. This could have all been for nothing. Let's see. Two six. Two six. Maybe, oh, I'm pretty well two seven. Two seven. Uh, two seven. Two seven. What did you think it was at? Uh, two, it's always between two five and two six. Two five and two six. Two, I don't know, I don't know how two, two seven's a little bit on the higher side. He has some millipora that are dying in the in his aquarium. So some millipora. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you. It's a type of hard coral. They're usually really easy to keep. Um, I would correct the salt first. He thinks that it may be because of leathers fighting with the milli, which is also a possibility. So when stuff dies in the in the hobby, you know, we start losing stuff or having trouble, it's really just best guess and we go, you know, line by line and see, okay, what's up? Usually I, my default is check the salt. What's the salinity at? And I ask people, how are you checking it? And I'm always trying to get them to buy what he's using over there right now. That's a refractometer. This is a lot of what we do actually here in the store. We don't just sell stuff and, and uh, ship corals to people across the country and hardware. A lot of it is just troubleshooting and trying to help customers figure out um, how to get the best results. So this is the coral that he's having trouble with. This is Acropora millipora. That's the Latin name of this species of acro. This is another one here that's quite nice. And this is another one. And I consider these pretty easy. I would say this is um, pretty easy. I guess this is going to lead into this week's advice of the week. Segue, if you're not already using a refractometer, go out and get one. And if you want my recommendation, the one that we use and trust here in the store, it's this one here. It's not cheap. It's called the Cybon. Uh, if you take care of this puppy, it'll last forever. Things gonna, I had one for, for 10 years. As long as you just properly use it and clean it and that's the same one that we sell recommend and use to test all the salt in the store so imagine we had that thing this hundred dollar device is responsible for i don't know how many thousands of dollars are, are in the tanks you know sometimes maybe 80 90 hundred thousand dollars worth of corals i'm trusting it to that over there the cybon that's the advice of the week peanut gallery what 
Peanut. Okay, hold on. Peanut gallery of the week. Yes. In my opinion, it's inferior, and it's $10 cheaper. Wait, you wanted to peanut gallery say that something we sell sucks? I don't like this. It's not a good... Okay. Recap. For $10 more, dollars, you get something that is significantly better. $10 more, dollars, so our peanut gallery advice, I got my advice of the week. <laughs> Tia's advice of the week is that this is a piece of junk. And it's not a piece of junk. I didn't say that. Okay. I just think $10 more, dollars, you can get something that is significantly better. For only $10 more, dollars, don't buy this. Wait, so you're agreeing with me? Buy the side bond. Just yeah, just buy that. If you just agreed with me? In one, we invest in a good one. <laughs> Tia just agreed with me. Everyone, mark this down on your calendar. This is not not a bad one. Side bond, still the best. I can't believe she agreed with me. This is nuts. Very few clams left. If you've ever think about getting prosia, this is basically yeah, that's your last shot. I think two of them are sold. Uh, unfortunately, not shipping these ones. Why are we not shipping them? It's negative 30 freaking degrees right now in Winnipeg. I would much rather a customer come in, pick one, buy it, take it home. You know, there's little risk or liability there. If I got to put this on a plane and ship it to negative 30 to a frozen hell, I would prefer not to. And they sell very well locally. If there's a couple left at the end and you really, really want one, hit me up and maybe we can send one. You're camera shy today. Huh? You are a beautiful fishy. If you don't already have one of these right here, go out and get, get one of these. Oh, I almost dropped it. Oh. Only a thousand bucks. Go and get one of these. This thing is awesome. This is awesome. This is more awesome. If you don't know what it is, Google <laughs> Trident. Neptune. Neptune Trident Marine Aquarium Water Analyzer. This customer just walked in looking for. Why did you come in? I don't know. K8 asking you what. He K8 said, "What the like K? That? What's your K? What's your alkalinity in the tank?" Ten yeah. minutes later, he's. Ta-da! <laughs> Sleeping with one of these. Check these out. Amazing, amazing. We're running one on every system store. This is Stan, our in-house product designer. Look at this. He's drawing up some, some new designs. Stan here does our custom-made Evo 13 and a half lids, which you won't find anywhere else. These were made, designed with, um, in part with him just for this tank here. They're all actually manufactured here in Canada. He also does some plastic injection molding products, not 3D printed, actually injection molding, tool and die, if you know what that is, some serious stuff. Um, these really cool frag racks work up to quarter inch and then he also offers very powerful half inch. These ones down here, half inch strength. These are to attach corals or some other really cool products and he's always coming out with new and interesting ideas. Oh yeah, these two made by him, Pod Hotel, very creative guy. And basically anything we can dream up or imagine, he has the tools to go ahead and make and fabricate custom products. So we're working on something new and we will bring that to you uh, in the coming year. Well fed staff means, means good. Is it good? Mmm, March brought in chicken parm today. Sorry Tia, not, not vegan. Oh, only, only Matt gets good lunch today. Just want to show you a cool collection of some Canadian grown cultured coral. So all of these grown here, originally taken from the ocean, obviously. Corals all originate in the ocean, but then from pieces grown and then propagated into many sustainable, look at these, sustainably grown. Humulus, Acropora humulus, kind of a strange species. These are some very nice bounce mushrooms, which are going to get their own video shortly. These are some long tentacle toadstool leathers. Not the easiest to frag, pretty easy to grow, hard to get them to attach. Some Dr. Fuzzy, some Nephthias, these are pretty cool. And then we have some Space Invader Pectinia. So I think it's probably the future of the hobby, the way things are looking. More and more cultured, more aquacultured grown frags. A lot of the frags in here too, a lot of the ones that we sell, especially the Zoas, almost all the Zoas that we sell, and that's kind of our specialty. I've always been a Zoa freak, like just crazy about Zoas. Almost all of them grown here in-house in the basement or we have some local farmers that also grow them and then trade them back in kind of like this one over here. I'm actually going to do a video on this one very soon dedicated to this pretty little piece. This was grown by Tia, the manager here at the store. She grew this out at home from a little frag. These are the scrambled eggs though. It's very easy to grow, very colorful. Doesn't really get more yellow than that. Beautiful piece. Mmm. Cannolis make us work better. Mm. Okay, check this out. If you've been waiting for a Nero 3, we finally have them back in. I want to do a proper video review on these because is it our favorite pump? I love it. I love it too. You have one at home? You have one at home? 
anymore. Nope, not anymore. Um, it is. I think it's probably our favorite pump. Aside, I just did a video review on these, Neptune Wave, but if you don't have the controller, which is... Or a huge tank, yeah. Yeah, this is a great small little wave maker, probably. Well, you can see, just from like how many we stock, like we don't stock any other pump like this. I have to go to my list and see what's the next one. Oh, Coral of the Week, okay. I have to get organized. Coral of the Week. Coral of the Week, here, Jay, we're gonna let you pick Coral of the Week. Our buddy Jay here is gonna show us, what do you think, Coral of the Week. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, I would probably pick the same thing. Yeah, Acanthophilia, so pretty. So nice, and not that big. Big brother one. Yeah, this is his big brother. This is mommy over here. Check out the size of this thing. There's my head, there's the coral. It's big, you need a big tank. This would look out of place in a small tank. But this, on the other hand, is actually the perfect size for an Acantho, because usually they come really, really big. This is like a manageable size. You could probably put this in a small tank, in a, in a 20, or even a, an Evo like this in Tia's Evo. What's going on with this tank? Any any future plans? We caught her in the middle of a break. <laughs> any future plans here for your Evo? I'm actually ready to start over again. Oh, start over. Then we should just scrap all the tanks. Well, this, there's a new Fusion 20, I think, that came out. And Dylan's tank is very overgrown, so we're thinking about taking this down. This one, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe comment below. What do you think? Everything is stinging. Look at this. The A-cans are getting beat up by the hammers. The acros are growing into another. I like your tank. I don't think it should come down. This is the nicest I, Evo ever. I can't find my flipper, so that's irritating me. We should just get a new flipper. I think so. <laughs> we are now carrying bulk reef supply glue, if you're looking for glue. And this little cool gadget here. So if you're working on your tank and you just want a, a spot to kind of put stuff down, let's say um, glue or, you know, your trusty fragging scissors. We also sell a whole line of fragging equipment, just somewhere to kind of put stuff down and keep it close by. It's called a hanging tray. Kind of a cool new product. This week's advice, Tia is saying, is buy more snails. So I think what she's trying to say is snails are really important. Cleanup crew, cleanup crew is important. You probably do not have enough cleanup crew in your tank. Thanks, Ben. You probably could use more snails. Check out our tank here, how many we have. There are like probably 200. And yeah, this is, we have too many, but this is a big tank and we also like to keep it very clean. As you can see, there is not a spot of algae anywhere. So this week's advice for the week is do not underestimate nice, the cleaning power. Thank you, Mr. UPS man. Do not underestimate the cleaning power of snails. Okay, our new product of the week, we're talking about all four reefs. So Matt that uh, works here in the store, used this at home, loved it. And then I like to stock stuff here on the shelves that the staff likes because then the products basically sell themselves. Because if Tia is using something at home, it's very easy for her to rant and rave about it. And then it, it sells because they're using it and then they really stand behind it. And they're not just selling a product, it's something they're happy to, to use. So this was one that Matt was using for a long time. And it's basically what? Calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium all in one. And trace, everything you need kind of in one bottle. And I've always been skeptical of things like this because I don't know, I maybe because I'm old school. And if you want to raise calcium, I think you should just raise calcium. And alkalinity, just alkalinity. But we've been selling a ton of it and the customer feedback's been really, really good. I think it's better for small tanks, right? Is the idea? Any size tank? Okay, so it comes in a powder form for bigger tanks, liquid for smaller tanks, but it's basically supposed to be, like it says, all for reef, it's all in one solution. Your trace, your calcium, your alkymag, all in one bottle to make dosing a lot easier. This is just wow. If you've been waiting for a frag of this, I'm gonna try and get around to fragging these up. Hopefully today, maybe tonight. Sometimes I stay really late at night and just get in crazy fragging moves and, and get into the fragging. Why don't we sell this as a colony? Shipping is through the roof right now. Corals are expensive in general, and then this one is just, just outstanding. It would be well over $1,000 if we were to sell something like this. And uh, sharing is caring, so we're gonna frag it up and then everyone can take home a little piece to grow out. This one is really nice as well. Tank of the week and the next one. Let's see, Tia's pick. Jonathan got to pick Coral of the Week, so Tia is gonna pick Tank of the Week. And it's just a wall. Oh, that's just a pretty girl. That's, that's why? Because yeah, she's hot? Because she's 
And her tank is really don't nice. Don't say that. I'm what do you mean? <laughs> don't say that. I'm she, in the YouTube. You're I'm about to say she's hot. If she's hot, she's hot. I have eyes. They work. It is really nice. Yeah, and I love her mounts on the hydras. Damn. They're so cool. She's, she's hot and the tank's hot. This is great. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Chloe's... Clothes reef. Clothes reef. Very nice aquarium, clothes reef. In the UK. In the UK. And a cute smile. And a cute smile. Sea apples. This is a sort of new thing for us too. I don't have... Oh, we just retracted. I don't have a lot of experience with these. I don't know a ton about them. So this is something I got to research a little bit more about. People say that they nuke your tanks. We've had them here for a couple of months and this is in our invert system, less than ideal conditions. So let's see. Also have this uh, Lagoon 25. If somebody's looking for a shallow all-in-one reef tank, it's here in the store. It is brand new. It is $100 off right now, but one catch. Why is it $100 bucks off? This baffle here in the back broken. It's still usable. So you see on this side, you have a baffle, water goes down and then up and then here. On this one, the baffle is gone. So if that doesn't make a big difference, you're still usable. It is available for pickup here. I'm not going to ship it. It's uh, way too big, way too heavy, but it is a 25 gallon. If you want to Google it, with the innovative marine Lagoon 25. These little packs are about to go up on the site. Little Ghanipora pack, another little frag pack. So sometimes we do these fun little um, just packs of corals. They're a little bit discounted. Often it's just stuff we have too much of and we just need room. So we do have a shipment coming February, early February. So for example, this is a really cool Christmas Flavia. But I got lots of Christmas Fabia. Christmas, 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 something we grow here in the store. I have a ton of it. So often these packs will be like sort of overstock of things that we have a lot of. Acropora humulus, another Canadian grown farm coral, and quite a few of them. Some here. I got more of them downstairs. Another example, this one over here. So you can see it has trumpet and some sunset monty. Lots of sunset, and you guessed it, lots of trumpet. So it's just a way to kind of make some space in the tank, um, you know, move 20, 30 frags very quickly. And then you guys get a nice assortment of different pieces and usually at a discounted price, so. Hello, mangroves. You gotta do this to keep them happy. Take the leaves and then just run some fresh water to keep the salt off. Amazing little plants. This is my favorite scraper. If anybody cares or wants to know for cleaning the glass, this is what I use to clean the glass here in the store. That was funny, so we didn't do a video for, I think it was just one day, a customer comes in the store today and says, is everything okay? You guys, you guys aren't doing videos anymore? I'm like, man, it's been one day. I love that. That's awesome that it's only been away uh, one day. Okay, this tank over here, as you can see, some big changes, big, big changes coming. Tia is not very happy with me right now. No. Can you show us on how unhappy you are? Look, that's her unhappy so face. Upset. <laughs> so upset, I messed up her rock. We're changing it up. The, it wasn't getting love. Uh, it's gonna get revamped one more time. I think this will be the last revamp of this tank. Yeah. Yeah, things change really a lot. I'm gonna think about it. I don't love acros. Like, so why were we doing acro dominated tank if you don't we didn't have any other acro dominated tank. Yeah, no mixed reef softies strong oh, strong white light Really show off the leather. Let me show you what I'm thinking. <laughs> Let me show you Japanese style I know you guys love it when I record the screen here in the store Now we're talking stronger white lights moving away from the blue really show off The colors of soft corals. You can't appreciate soft coral under blue. It's not the same you need, you need the white. Yeah, these are nice. This is what I'm after. Mixed reef, easy, non-aggressive, practical, pragmatic. Are those the same word? Leathers are does, super aggressive. Does practical mean pragmatic? No, they're not. Leathers are not aggressive. It's chemically super aggressive. No, they're not. If you Absolutely. oh, if you frag them, if you if you're saying or if, if you're touching each other or no, anything. disagree. Yeah. Or if there's too many in the system, for sure. Disagree. Yeah. Even if you, disagree. if I add one to my 250 gallon, a tiny. Price. Disagree. I can't even. Sh this the glass on this tank is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Just I, because you don't I, see it doesn't mean it's not inhibiting growth of other corals. Okay, fair. So okay. Okay, fine. Fair enough. I was thinking like stinging aggressive. No, no, no. The glass is really dirty on this tank. Also, have not had these in a long tentacle Japanese leather toadstool. That is a mouthful, but very cool piece. And they are not gonna last long. Oh, 
might have sold it. Okay, the black on the bottom of this tank, it's holding up. So if you saw the other video, what I did is just added some sheets of acrylic to give it that cool black contrasting look. Doesn't that look so much better than this? You see the Coraline, people want Coraline, but then over time, it just becomes a nuisance. You see the bottom of this is purple. It makes for very, very clear photography and videos, just like this, to have that black on the back there. Really nice amount of contrast. So this week's project of the week is here in the basement of the store. I'm finally starting to make some progress on this new little sort of extension of our grow farm. So this is a five foot by three foot by only, I think it's six or seven inches. Actually, let me check. It's really shallow. Actually, I kind of regret making it this shallow. I should have gone a little higher. I'll tell you why um, in another video. Seven inches. It's really shallow. It's going to be tricky to get flow. This is going to be our grow tank. Finally got a light on. We went with the Neptune Sky. Just shot a video with Tia on how to set it up, our initial impressions. I can't wait to see the par readings on this one. The spread is crazy. This one light, it is quite high up, but it is lighting it very nice. Got the drains more or less complete over here. And I'm working right now as we speak on the return line. So let me, uh, let me show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, boom, done. Plumbing is done. Return line, really simple, coming from a pipe over here, doo -doo 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 -doo, comes down. Very low flow, very low light, softy grow out tank, gonna be primarily mushrooms, Xenia, uh, Anthelia, Kenya tree, very, very soft, low flow, relaxed, chill sort of tank. So next step is get in some gravel and then fill it up and we'll report back. I'll continue working on it, but that's this week's project of the week. Okay guys, we're gonna wrap up this vlog episode. Some fun news, Tia and I are coming to, where are we going, Macna, Reef of Palooza? One of them, Orlando. I think I'm going to both, you're coming to one. I want to go to Yeah, they're two weeks apart. Three weeks apart, okay. So we're coming, we're coming down to Orlando this April if you'd like to come meet us in person. I think we're going, I'm, I'm definitely going to Macna. Macna, one or the other. We'll, we'll talk about it more as we get closer to the dates. I'm gonna book some flights, but it'd be cool. If anyone's down there and wanna meet up, we will be down there with this camera and with some, I think we're gonna bring some shirts for some giveaways, if we can, something like that. Yeah, we'll bring some stuff to give away. But thanks for watching this episode. We'll wrap it up and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another episode of Fragbox TV.